Welcome live here to Racing Hotspot Week and Roundup. I am your host, Dave Poslesny, along with Dave Poslesny as always. And you have now officially become a member of Racing Hotspot because he's even wearing the t-shirt. Look at that. Yeah. We're, I need a white one though for outdoors. We're working on it. So, <coughs> we have a show lineup here. Show lineup, Motorsports in 60, IndyCar, Formula One, RH Blog Report, Taylor Martin interview. Yes, Taylor Martin, the... Uh, Legends car driver, Bandolero driver, yeah, ACT, everything driver basically. NASCAR, virtual lap, RH points championship, and then your final lap. Let's I would suggest you just say up and coming driver. Up and coming driver, yes. Motorsports in 60, and I forgot to put in the minutes, the minute thing. Here we go. I'm actually going to look at your computer. NASCAR Camping World Truck Series at Bristol Motor Speedway. Here's your top five. Chase Elliott finished four, fifth. Johnny Sauter finished fourth. Ryan Blaney finished third. And Timothy Timothy Peters finished second. And Kyle Busch won the race. I'm actually a step ahead of myself there. Close race, too. Yes, very. Coming to the line, one car spinning out. That's that's always crazy. He Close. did it himself, though. That's, that's, that's... He was trying to wreck Kyle. Yeah. I don't know, you saw it. You yeah. saw him literally try to hit him and he wound up wrecking himself. And you know what? Young guy like that, don't take on the cup guy in that kind of picture. That's a bad move. These guys are used to yeah. <laughs> getting beaten and banged. Nationwide Series at Bristol Motor Speedway. Kyle Larson finished fifth. Justin Allgaier finished fourth. Austin Dillon third. Brad Keselowski second. And Kyle Busch won the race. Another close finish. Two seconds to spare. And there it is. No beep beep because my computer's. IndyCar. We'll stay on this one, the main camera here. The race literally just finished. So we don't have your top five. Now all we have is Will Power has won. That's. And it was a crazy race. Uh, he, our, our cameraman said that he was listening to it and he watched it. Let's just say lap one, turn one. They're already wrecking. Well, as as your grandfather said, as much beating and banging as uh, as NASCAR. That's the first. Well, so yeah. Where well, were they? Based on the fact that I can't get it, where were they? Sonoma. Sonoma, okay. They were using the... Oh, it's a tough course to begin with. Long, yeah, they were using the long course. They weren't using the cup course. So, a little different. Um, now to our Formula One. Sebastian Vettel won the... Uh, yeah, it's a Grand Prix. Yeah, something Grand Prix. Uh, I'm not sure they were because again, I don't get it. I think it was the Belgian. Yeah, Belgian, Belgian Grand Prix. Wow. Actually, yeah, it was because I saw I saw the news on it, and apparently he dominated. Yeah, he, he actually really kicked some butt. They said lap one he overtook Lewis Hamilton and just ran away with the race. Um, so here's your top five: finishing fifth, Mark Webber. Fourth, Nico Rosberg. Third, Lewis Hamilton. Fernando Alonso finished second, and Sebastian Vettel won. This week's RH blog report, Irwin's Tool Night Race at Bristol. Thank you, by the way. No problem. Well, this brings up the this brings up the point. Is the second race at these tracks better? That's going to be this week's poll question on Facebook. This was a great race. I missed the first 50 laps or so because I was at a Legends car race, or races. Matt Kenseth won the race. The next race is Atlanta. See, then that's a, mon a Sunday night race. Yep. Which I believe I'm. I just love how they do that to you because I gotta be honest with you, I don't know about everybody else, but I got thrown off as to what day it is. Once we had a truck race on a Wednesday, automatically I wake up the next day thinking it's Saturday. Then nothing's going on. Then there's a Friday night race. So then I'm thinking, okay, it's Saturday again. And, and now they reverse it. Now everything is a day later. So it's like, it's it's almost like a really long stretch in between, yeah. when you really think about it. It's like now we're waiting forever for racing. Yes, um, one, as you said, I woke up Thursday morning going, okay, what's on TV today? Truck uh, qualifying for a comp? I'm like, it's Thursday. It's oh, on that note, I like to say, ha ha, because you have to go back to school. Because you know, waking up on a Thursday going, ah, what's going on today? No, it's... Gotta go to school, that's what's going on. <laughs> well, then, 
last night the cup race happened. I'm laying in bed and I have to do a weekly chore like bringing garbage out to our curb. I'm laying in bed and I go, oh shoot, did I forget to bring the garbage out? And I go, wait a minute, tomorrow's Sunday, not the first day of school. Yes. <laughs> I was like all happy. That's always a bonus. Yeah. Matt Kenseth won the race after a crazy last couple laps with Casey Kane. Um, it was a good race though. It was. I was. It was funny. I was. I think it was like 20 laps to go or something like that. And I turn to my mom and I go, this race is going to be done in three minutes. It's kind of like, the way it seems. You know, it really is fast. Well, I mean, you fast forward to commercials, you're already 15 laps down. Because <laughs> I watched it on the DVR. When I got home, obviously the race was still on mm. after we were at the Legends cars. Yeah. And I just said, oh, I'm just going to start from the beginning. So I got to see the flyby, which was absolutely spectacular, by the way. Did you did you see that? that okay. You didn't get to see the flyby? No, oh, absolutely absurd. Neither. Yeah, yeah. I think there was uh, 20 planes, somewhere around that. Oldies, like World War IIe's kind of thing, but they had the smoke coming out the back and all that. Huge formation of planes just going over. It was great. But that's, again, why I go back to the beginning. So what I did from there is try to catch up with the actual live race and kept fast-forwarding through the commercials. Mm. And it was like every time I hit the commercials, all the commercials getting crazier and crazier, but, you know, money's got to come from somewhere. Mm. Somebody's got to pay the bills. As I... Fast forward through the commercials, say a minute and a half of commercials, they were already down like six laps. I'm like, what on earth? Dude, the thing was just counting off like so fast, it was crazy. It was but it's one of the things I enjoyed about Bristol. You know, they say 500, and you're sitting there going, oh, sounds like a long race. No, it's not. It is not. You don't the, have a lot of time. The truck race, I think it was Rick Allen. There was like, I think like 25 laps to go, and he's like, this race is going to be done in seven minutes. And it's like, what? Well, they're running, what, what 15, speed? 15 second laps. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. 15 seconds around a half a mile over. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here's your top five. We did, and some people might be looking at this going, wait a minute, you forgot the Taylor Martin interview. We'll get that in a minute. Um, here's your top five. Finishing fifth, Joey Logano. Fourth, Brian Vickers. Full-time ride now for the rest of the season. And now two seasons. Now. Excellent start. Yes. That gets an excellent start. Very. Um... <laughs> Juan Pablo Montoya finished third, Casey Kane second, and Matt Kenseth won the race. Um, to go along with our NASCAR, be wait, I want to read that book. To go along with our NASCAR before we go to the Taylor Martin interview, we have our your stats for our Atlanta, which then will bring up the point of the points championship. But here is your stats. Atlanta is one one point five four miles. 24 degrees banking in the corners, 5 degrees in the straights. So, yeah, that's a pretty good track. Yeah, it is. Couldn't find out. Atlanta's been around for a long time. Yes. Actually, I shouldn't really say that because it's kind of new because it more or, <laughs> or less got wiped out by a tornado about yeah. six was, years ago, somewhere around that. Just going to say that. Now, we are going to go to a Taylor Martin interview and then on the other One note about oh. yesterday's race that I want to throw in, though. Yes. Which I thought was impressive overall. Mark Martin's in the 14th seat for the first time yesterday's race. Finished 20th. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Considering all of the adjustments that have to be made in that picture, you really have to look at the big picture on that one. It's not just the seat. They also have to adjust Tony's car to what Mark wants. No driver is the same. So that was a, that's a huge difference there. And I thought coming in 20th, Definitely satisfactory. Would I have loved to see him better than that? But first race, I think I actually think he may pull off a win before the end of the season. I believe so too. And it's something to go along with that. I don't know if you caught um, practice for the Nationwide Series on Friday. I did some of it. Yeah. Kyle Busch goes into Elliott Sadler's seat to run a couple laps in his seat. Mm -hmm. That was fun. It was awesome how we see him getting in, and I'm like, what the heck are they doing? And then they like. Well, Elliot Sadler said that he has a vibration. He want. Like, Weren't there a few that happened this weekend? Even in the Cup Series, there was some somebody else who drove somebody else's car. I don't know. I didn't catch any. It was a, it was a little bit of confusion. I guess it just. I guess they're actually looking for each other's opinions, and they're not even teammates in some cases. So well, pretty... Kyle. Yeah, Kyle Busch, as Elliot Sadler said, he wants somebody who's so good at Bristol to be able to say, "Oh, I had that a bunch of years ago." It's the front right tires not on correctly. I and he is good at Bristol. I, I really was hoping for a three sweep, but the odds of that are pretty slim. So, and he if he did that, he would have been the first driver in NASCAR history to do it twice. 
Oh, I was guessing he's already done it. No, no. First right. nat in NASCAR history to do it twice and at the same track. Awesome. So. I'll take it. He could do it in... No, he can't. Uh, next August. Yeah. I was going to say March, but the trucks aren't with them in March. Um, so now we are going to go to a Taylor Martin interview that we took yesterday. And some of you people might have already saw it, seen it, but now he said he was advertising for it. So check it out. Hello, guys. I am here with a podium finishing driver, Taylor Martin. Congratulations on your finish, by the way. T top three. Yeah, thank you. My dad actually hooked my car up pretty good for tonight. Um, so we have a couple questions for you. Really, it's about the race. Uh, how was your car tonight? Well, um, in practice, it wasn't too good. It was actually loose coming out, but my dad fixed that. We actually tried changing the tire to a bigger tire, but that didn't work out very well. So um, for the race, the car was actually perfect. It's the best it's ever been this season. So. All right. Um, how long have you been racing, Like, and what have you been doing, basically? Well, when I was seven, I started in quarter midgets. I had three of those in three different classes. Um, and then after that, I moved up to Bandoleros. I ran those for two years and won two consecutive um, championships. And then I moved up to the Legends. This is going to be my third season. And I finally just got a late model. I raced one race so far this season. I've, I got, I want to say I got 11th, and I started 17th, so I guess that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, what future plans do you have, like NASCAR or? Well, um, for, like, close future... I know on September 4th I'll be practicing here at New Hampshire in my late model with the Axe Series. And depending on how that goes, if they think I'm ready, I will be racing the um, Act Tour race here on September 21st along with this Legends race. They're going to be back to back. Cool. Um, and one last question. I am now. Oh, while I was recording, I noticed turn one was very hard on the sun. How is it from inside the car? Well, um, towards the end of the race, it was actually getting worse, but I had my dark shield on, so it wasn't pretty. It wasn't too bad. Okay, then. So now that will do it for our interview. Thank you, Taylor, for taking time out of your busy schedule, and congratulations on the podium. And that will do it. That was your interview on the Taylor Martin interview. How did? How was that? Obviously, you were the cameraman for it, but I thought it went very well, and she also had a very good day. Yes, she did. Definitely see an upcoming in later there. The sad part, though, is that is her ninth consecutive top three podium. She has not won. How is that said? She hasn't won yet. That's she's well, always. She wasn't last. Well, yes, but as she as it said on. Facebook, you do realize nine consecutive top threes can bring you into the chase situation. I know, no, no, I know that, but it, you kind of get tired of finishing third after nine times. Yeah, and it was but, almost fourth. Uh, I don't remember what the kid's name was, the number 16 car there. Mm. Um, just about had her, but as soon as he had her, she took him back. And then and then he pushed it way too hard and went into a spin. And this is actually I'm not sure where he finished. Something people were asking me, obviously these aren't legend cars, but they will sub. People were asking me what happened. Now, can you see those cars on there? You can, you can. I would oh, use yes. those, but... You can see the front cars and that cars. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Nobody knows what you look like. Thank God we haven't said anything. So basically, this is Taylor Martin, which I, if I had a 20... Oh, I do have a 20. Let's do that. Taylor Martin, 20. Not the same sponsor, but close to it. And then I don't have a 16. I do, but it's not the Gen 6. But whatever. So they came into the corner, and the 16 came in too hard and just spun out, basically. And... As Taylor said uh, off, <laughs> See ya. off camera, that that's basically he just came in too hot, hit her basically at the wrong area of mm -hmm. her car and just spun out. Like if I'm assuming, if it was like a couple more inches back, he would have spun her out. But there was too much car there. I would assume yeah. too little car of his, too much car of her. Kind of so, like Timothy Peters. Yeah, basically. Same thing. Uh, basically the same thing. But, so, I think that interview went very well. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And again, thank you, Taylor. Yes, thank you. Um, Appreciate you taking the time out. In the upcoming weeks or months, I don't know how you want to look at that, she will be on here via Skype, which is pretty cool. So, we are still working that out. So she'll be on over here, right? Y yeah. Okay. She'll be right there. Yeah. 
So there's a lot of stuff that we have to get set up for that, so don't expect it next weekend. Probably end of September, early October, let's say that. At her convenience. At her, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, we're going to take a break. When we return, we'll have your virtual lap, and then we'll have our RH Points Championship. When we're, we'll be right back. Welcome back live here to Racing Hawks Bar Weekend Roundup. Now it's time for our virtual lap of Atlanta. It's a night race. I had a choice of doing a day. You know, right. I'm right back. Had a choice of doing a day test or a night test, and since it's a night race, we'll <laughs> do a night test. Very tricky front stretch here. I'm going to turn one. I'm going to let off in the middle. Let off the gas in the middle and then come right back. Don't want to hit the apron, that will hurt your time. Right here, where it, the drop banking just drops off, and it, your car can get really loose. Boy. All right. Well, we did one good lap. <laughs> Not my plan. Let's just say that. Okay. Well, it still drives. <laughs> We'll just come back to the pits. Um, well, we just saw right there what can happen if you get too low on the front stretch apron. We'll do one more lap, but not for a time. I'll show you what I did here. Turn three here, we got too low, not that low. We can't, and that caused us to go up the track. I dropped too low on the apron here, which then caused that, like I'm going to do it again. Wow. Now that's a piece of driving right there. Kept it off the wall, sliding sideways on the banking. That will do it. Welcome back live in the Racing Hotspot Week and Roundup. We have our picks, but first let's look at how, how it turned out last week. Here's our picks. I had Matt Kenseth for fifth, Casey Kane for fourth, Jimmy Johnson for third, Kyle Busch for second, and Brad Keselowski for the win. Dave had Kevin Harvick for fifth, Greg Biffle for fourth, I can't even talk. Carl Edwards for third, Kurt Busch for second, and Jeff Gordon for the win. Here's how it shook up. Man, I really thought I was going to sweep you this week. With If you look at how it goes. You're I had, kidding me. I had fourth. Jimmy Johnson wrecked out again, so you... Yeah, I know. But I had... And I will admit, though, I have to say, not a big Jimmy Johnson guy. But I really felt bad for him. He just got totally caught in it. It was like nowhere to go. You know, he's looking at smoke and all of a sudden, <laughs> done radiated. Well, here's how that's how they went. I had fifth, fourth, third, second. Dave had one. So at 20 to 10. And if we look at the standings here. So here's how the. Looks like the same thing, though. 
I know, but if you hit the link, it'll just go. Obviously, it's not going to, but... So here's how it turned out. Dave has 374 points, and I have 358. So, now, two weeks in a row, three weeks in a row, I have won. And two weeks in a row, I got 20. We go to Atlanta, Richmond, Chicago, first race in the chase, and then us, and then there's your rest of your season right there. Two more to go, huh? Let's get in two Did you hear about Jimmy Johnson? No. Uh, David Reagan? Not David Reagan, Reagan Smith. Is currently training in his car in the background of everything for the last, I guess, for the last few weeks because Chandra is due to have her baby the re re weekend of Richmond and I believe it's going to be a scheduled delivery so what they're doing is preparing Johnson to not be there but Johnson's response is the way he sits in points right now he can, he can skip up. the race altogether yeah. and it won't matter which I personally don't like but family does have to come first so it, it, I guess it's you know important enough that you know, if he has that kind of lead, take advantage of it. I guess I would, too. Alright, well, here is the point picks for Atlanta. Uh, Dave, you have... Mark Martin for fifth in Tony Stewart's car. Kurt Busch for fourth. Um, Carl Edwards for third. Greg Biffle for second. And Jeff Gordon for first. I have Martin Church Jr. for 5th, Kevin Harvick for 4th, Brad Keselowski for 3rd, Denny Hamlin for 2nd, and Matt Kenseth for the win. Now, if we go to a quick here to Atlanta's results last week, last year, Denny Hamlin finished 1st, Jeff Gordon finished 2nd, Brad Keselowski 3rd, Martin Church Jr. 4th, and Kevin Harvick finished 5th. So... Some of my drivers did copy, but well, hope I'm cheat sheet. I'm He's using a cheat sheet. No, I'm not. They could all wreck out in the first lap. You yes, they could. Well, whatever. Plus, isn't this a uh, night race as opposed to a day race? Yeah. So it's totally different. So your lineup from the last race. Well, actually, that was a night race. Oh, that was last year's race. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I think they only have one race. race. Atlanta. Oh yeah, that's right. So which is a shame. But yeah, it went. There's to, only so much room in the schedule. It went to Kentucky. So, now to our final lap. IndyCar, Sunday, 2 p.m. on NBC Sports Network. Check your local listings. They are in Baltimore. Formula One is off until September 8th. NASCAR Camel Truck Series re makes their first ever debut to our road course. First ever, or return. The, Where are they? They're going to Ca Continental Tire Speedway in Canada. No, I think they'll be first for the trucks. All right. Second? Is this the second? Okay. Okay, well, return... Cameraman beat us out on that one. Yeah. The return to road course racing with trucks, Saturday, Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1. It's a very tight-knit weekend because Nationwide Series races Saturday Day night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN 2. And then trucks are on Sunday, 2 p.m. And then cups are Sunday, cup night. Sunday night. So, and it's going to be interesting next weekend because we're going to be both, all of us are going to be in New York. I'm going to be coming home. I will be. Okay, then. So, probably a Monday or Monday show, definitely. Okay. Monday night show. Um, so, Sunday, the Cup Series, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on ESPN. Global Rally Cross are off until September 22nd. Now, one last thing here. Well, I'm going to give credit to, thank you, Taylor Martin and Taylor Martin Racing for that interview. Um, like I said, in the upcoming months, we will. she will be here live. Well, not here, there, on the screen, but, yeah. Oh, it was very appreciated, because it, you don't really get the background of how busy somebody is until you're actually inside the track, and you get all this experience learning what these people go through on a, a, a you know timely basis constantly getting flipped or having during practice having to come in, try changes, stuff like that. 
And it was very good of her to get that in. I really, yeah. I really did appreciate that. And thank you again, Taylor. Yes, thank you. Um, Multi-camera views here. One of them is on the screen. And that's new. We're working on that. Hopefully it works out good. I'm going to edit it all tonight and, or tomorrow, depending. Because I have to go back to school tomorrow. Wah, wah. We, are, we are recording this on August 25th. 2013, so August 26th, first day of school for us kids in Belmont. Woo! Just bear this in mind. When you start working for a living, you'll you don't get, get somewhere. somewhere. Well. <laughs> so well, enjoy it while you got it. Well, it depends. Depends on what field I go into. If I go into broadcasting, I get the week, winters off with NASCAR. Depending on what broadcasting you go into. Yeah, exactly. So, yes, yeah, so that will do it for us tonight. Return. Well, whenever I think we're going to get through the show next Monday night. Um, it does just easier, yeah. So, probably by next Thursday, it'll be up. But same place, same time here on, in the Racing Contract Studios. Any last things? That's about it. All right, then. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. Come alive.